Five types of teas that you should not consume, that you should avoid. In this video, I divided it into five topics, which are teas that are bad for kidneys, for the liver, ingestation, it can even be bad for the fetus, for the baby, teas that interfere with other medications. If you use any type of medication, this tea can even cut the effect of some medicines or potentiate this effect so you can't take it. I'll talk about what these medications are. And the fifth class, the fifth type, are teas that interfere with the weight loss process, which are prohibited. And Visa has released a list with several substances with several teas that are prohibited I'm going to talk about these five topics. Why am I making this video? Because there is a culture that tea, because it is a natural substance, sometimes derived from a plant, for example, or from a herb, it can't hurt. But this is a myth. We know that teas have chemical components as well as medications and can interfere with your body, even harming your body, causing inflammation in the liver, hepatitis. There are even cases of transplant. The person drinks tea. The tea harms the liver and she has to do transplant because of that. So here I will quote what these teas are which are dangerous and that you will avoid at all costs. Write in the comments if you have ever used any type of tea or even if you use it. Put the substance and also say if something happened to your body if you felt any side effects. Put the part of the world you are, put your city. There are many viewers from outside Brazil so I always like to know where you are. Let's start our group here. First I'm going to talk about the St. John's Herb. Why is this St. John's herb so dangerous? Because it can interfere with other treatments. What treatments? Preapipsy treatments, for example, convulsions, like carbamazepine. If you use carbamazepine, it can interfere with St. John's herb, so you can't drink this tea. What other treatments? For coagulation, people who use medications to make the blood thinner, like varfarin, for example, will also interfere with St. John's herb. Very important here, the St. John's herb can cut the effect of the anticonceptive. So if you use contraceptive, you can't drink any tea or anything with St. John's herb because it can cut the effect even in low doses, okay? So here is not the excess. Even in low doses, the St. John's herb can cut the effect of contraceptive. People who use medication for depression such as floxetine, sertraline, citalopran, escitalopran can also interfere with St. John's herb. So it's contraindicated. Be very careful with St. John's Herb. In doubt, you should avoid this type of tea. Why am I making this video and put St. John's Herb? Because it is the second case that I attend in a short period of time of a woman who ends up getting pregnant because of St. John's Herb. She thinks she's doing everything right. She's using contraceptive. But if you use St. John's Herb tea, this contraceptive may not have done and she may get pregnant. So, number one, you should not consume St. John's Herb. Number two, before number two, I'm going to make a goal of likes for this video. So. 3,000 likes help me and enjoy this video to be distributed. There are millions of people who use teas that can be dangerous. You may have health problems because of some tea. This is very serious what I'm talking about. So enjoy this video and if you have not activated the notification bell, click on the bell and check all options. That way, whenever I post something, YouTube will send you a message. It will notify you. Number two, what other teas should you not consume? This number goes to the Gestants, since I talked about gestation in the previous item. So, if you are gestating, you cannot consume tea that contains cinnamon, mint, arugula tea, boldo tea, and carcass tea. There are several other teas that also interfere in pregnancy, which can even cause abortion. So you shouldn't drink these types of teas during pregnancy. In doubt, don't drink any tea if you are pregnant. First, ask your obstetrician, your gynecologist, if there is any interference, if you can or not because there are several teas besides the ones I mentioned, besides cinnamon mint, which are already known teas. There are several other principles that can interfere in pregnancy. Number three, teas that are prohibited for those who have kidney failure, especially kidney failure for those who have weak kidneys. Those people who can't filter the blood properly because the kidneys are damaged. So write down these three types of teas because you can't use them. If you use, for example, carambola tea, or even consume carambola fruit. Here's a tip. It has a toxic substance that can accumulate in the blood because your kidneys don't filter the blood properly. So they can't eliminate the toxins properly. So carambola tea, hibiscus tea, is also dangerous. It can also affect the kidneys. So those who have kidney failure can't consume carambola tea, hibiscus tea, and black tea. I will also include in this list for those who have kidney problems. In doubt, always consult your doctor. If you have kidney failure, you have to be more careful 
with these so-called natural substances. So these three teas are among the teas that can harm the kidneys. There are still some weight loss teas, also teas that harm the liver, which can be pathotoxic. Our item number four is about teas that promise weight loss. In fact, those who promise weight loss are the people who sell these teas. So if you see any promise of weight loss, because there is no tea that has the potential to lose weight, what loses weight is you ingest fewer calories than you consume. I'm going to name a tea here that has become very popular in Brazil. It is widely distributed and you have to be very careful with it because it has already been banned by Anvisa. And it was not banned yesterday or last month. This tea was banned in 2020 and is still marketed because there is a lot of lack of inspection. Brazil is a very large country and has no due inspection. So it's up to you to know that and not buy this type of tea. The tea is called 50 Herbs. It is a banned tea, as I mentioned by Envisa, because it has components, it has several types of active principles, several herbs that promise weight loss and can harm your kidneys, your liver, can accelerate heart rate. So you can have arrhythmia because of that. So this tea, 50 herbs, is banned. Get away from these weight loss teas, okay? Don't believe that. And number five are teas that can harm the liver, which can even cause fulminant hepatitis and inflammation in the liver that you may reach the point of having to transplant your organ. It may go into failure due to some tea that you consume, that you ingest. This is very serious and it is valid for people who have liver problems and also for people who have no problem. Because tea alone can lead to liver inflammation and cause these damages. You may have yellowish ichthys even in the eye's skin, yellow in the mucous membranes. So be very careful. Write down these teas that I'm going to talk about now. Take a pen and paper and write down these teas. I will talk about these substances so you don't consume them under any circumstances. Number one, cava cava. Number two, cavalinha. Number three, casca da sagrada. Number four, espinheira santa. Number five, a very used tea, the tea of Sini. Confre valeriana. These teas you should not consume because they can cause inflammation in the liver. It can harm your liver. In doubt, you will take the substance and before ingesting, you will talk to a professional who accompanies you, your nutritionist, your doctor. You will ask him directly, I want to drink this tea. Is there any danger? Do I have to worry or not? He will tell you if it's a tea I haven't mentioned here. This way you don't fall into a hole. You don't have any kind of harm to your body. Sometimes you're drinking tea to get better. It will end up harming your body. If you want more tips like this, subscribe to the channel. Also activate the notifications bell. And now I'm going to leave a suggestion for you, which is a video I talked about five lies involving diabetes five myths of this disease so frequent so don't forget to watch this video here just click and you will be directed to it a hug if you have any questions put it in the comments